It's bedtime, kids. I don't want to sleep. We don't have school tomorrow. Mm. <laughs> Did you know how dangerous it is not to sleep? I will explain. Let knowledge click. Sleeping is like charging your toy car. Without charging, the car runs out of battery and stops. When you sleep, your body also recharge, resting and gaining back energy. At the same time, your brain quietly works, shorting out what you learn in a day and turning it into memories. While you sleep, your body also helps fix broken cells, <laughs> makes muscles stronger, helps you grow, and get ready to fight germs. If you skip sleep for one day, you feel tired, can't focus, and get grumpy easily. After two days without sleep, the brain gets confused, memories worse. And you may even see things that aren't real. That's called hallucination. After three days, your body becomes weak. You move slowly and may act strangely because you lose control. If this go on for many days, your body wears out. Your brain gets hurt and it can be very dangerous. <laughs> oh right, last question. How many hours should keep sleep every day to stay healthy? A. 3 to 4 hours. B. 8 to 10 hours. C. 15 hours. 15 hours? The more sleep, the better. Yay! Too much sleep isn't good either. I'll explain next time. The right answer is B. Kids need 8 to 10 hours of sleep every day. Mm -hmm. Good night! <sighs> That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. <laughs> feel hot like fire! Are you really going to transform? No, oh. he's not. With you, you might have a fever. Huh? What's a fever? Mm. I will explain why your body feels hot, cold, and tired. Let knowledge click! A fever means your body gets hotter than normal. Can't you believe it? A fever is actually how your body protects you yes. when strange bacteria, fungi, or viruses try to get in. When bad bacteria get in, your immune cells turn on defense mode and send signals to your brain. Inside your brain is a control center called the hypothalamus. When it gets the signal, the hypothalamus tell your body to heat up. The high temperature makes germs weaker or kills them. Like cooking bacteria, you can feel cold at the same time because your body needs to balance it out. While you have a fever, your immune cells work hard to find the germs. When the germs are gone, the hypothalamus tells your body to cool down and you start feeling better. A fever isn't a sickness. It's a sign of your body protecting itself. Can you tell me what you should do when Wufu has a fever? That's wrong. You should never get the medicines without asking an adult. That's right. Tell an adult right away. So we can get the right care. We got it. Oh. 
Doctor Who, why do you have no hair? <laughs> That's a secret about human hair. Want to explore it with me? Ah, yes! Let knowledge click. On top of our heads, there are thousands of little flower pots called hair follicles. Each follicle is like a tiny pot, and your hair is like a baby plant growing from it. Hair doesn't grow all the time, it grows in three stages. Anagen, growing stage. The hair like the little plant grows and gets longer. This stage can last for many years. About 85 to 90 percent of your hair is growing right now. Catagen, resting stage. The hair follicle takes a short rest and gets smaller. Blood flow to the hair slow down. Hair stops growing for a few weeks. Telogen, falling out stage. After about three months, the old hair falls out and a new baby hair grows in its place. Does hair fall out a lot, Doctor Who? <laughs> oh! For Ooh. most people, it's normal to lose 50 to 100 hairs every day. If your hair is getting thinner or falling out a lot, might be because the follicles are very small or they rest for too long. Adults can lose a lot of hair and slowly become bald. Here is some reason why. First, there is a hormone called DHT. It makes the tiny hair pods shrink and smaller pods grow thinner, weaker hair. Secondly, as you oh. get older, your hair follicles <laughs> get weaker. Next, if someone in your family oh. is bald, you might lose hair more easily too. If you don't eat well, as stressed, don't sleep enough, or don't take care of your hair properly, your hair can fall out faster. Let's play a guessing game. Which of the three stages have most hair to make our hair nice and thick? No! A. I was right! Correct! Thanks to the long energy stage, our hair can grow healthy and beautiful. Hmm? Professor Hoot, the darkness creeps me out! It's completely normal, mm. Wufu! Huh? Did you know why we feel scared when it gets dark? Mm. Let knowledge click! See, in ancient times, our ancestors live among wild animals. Hmm. So nighttime <laughs> was the most dangerous time! <gasps> Today, even though we live in a much safer environment, this trait hmm? still remains in our brain. It's linked to a part of the brain known as the amygdala. When it gets dark, the amygdala becomes more active to signal if there's any danger. For kids, the amygdala is even more sensitive. So, Sometimes you feel extra scared in the dark. But why am I still scared of the dark even when there's nothing? That's because of your big imagination. Oh. When you see shadows in the dark, hmm? your brain might make up scary things like oh. wild animals, hmm? monsters, hmm. or even robbers. Fear of the dark is totally natural, but oh. you can handle it with a few simple oh. tricks. Mm. Turn on a small night light so you can see around you. Listen to soft music to help you feel calm. Sleep with your favorite toy or next to someone you love so you feel safe and cozy. I get it now. The dark isn't scary. It's just my imagination making me think so. Mm. Mm -hmm. They will protect me. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Ow. <laughs> Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel.